the chart and some other thing. So before creating the chart, you don't put all your data in one chart, right? You put most important data in the chart for visualization. So if you have like 13 or 1,000, let me show you. So I saw a lot of people telling me, um, putting in the group that we should, we should, um, that we should look for a data with long list and put it in a chart. That is not how a chart works. So like this data now, I can't put everything here in a chart. I can't put everything right here in a chart. It doesn't make any sense. So it will be cluster, right? Doesn't make any sense. So you put the most important data in the chart. Let's say you are looking for the top 10 best selling products. You put it top 10 best selling country. You put it, right? That is what you put in a chart. Or you put, okay, let's say, these are all the country that we have. The best selling products is this country. Um, our best, our product is selling very well in this country. This is the rate. So you put, okay, in USA, these are the product that uh, we are selling in USA. And you can just put those one in the chart. So today we are going to work um, with that. That is what we are going to be doing today. How many of you are super excited to see me doing chats, right? How many of you are excited? How many of you are ready for today's class? We don't have much time. So I just want to quickly take it then, call it a day. So by next week, I'll tell you what to do in the group. Are we together? How many of you are here with me? Nobody. Let me keep quiet until someone responds. Hola, talks. Hello. Okay. Ah. Uh -huh. Welcome, Emily. Adeshina. Um. Sunday, baby. Right. I don't know why a lot of people usually bear baby, baby, baby these days. All my contact list, I have like a long list of baby, baby, baby. I even don't know what to stop. Save them as I don't know how to differentiate them. So I'll now call this one Debi One. So whenever Debi One call, I'll be like, who the hell obvious Debi One? Right? I don't know how to differentiate all this Debi Debi Debi. I beg, let's announce for the for the old people, for everybody to stop to stop giving Debi as as a name because we have enough Debi in the world, right? Are we together? Debbie, did you support that motion? Uh -huh. Let's start announcing. A lot, lot of Debbie, Debbie is too much, especially on my own contact list. Where is Debbie? It's only Emily that supports. Where is Debbie? At they Emmy. Debbie, no glue. I'm just using the opportunity to wait for other people to join you because I don't want to be going back and forth. Debbie, you don't go cook. Stagola. I said, did you support the notion that um, they should stop giving um, Debbie or Deborah to, to I think Debbie is short form of Deborah. I know, but I have a lot of them in my own contact list. Once we are up to 25 now, I'm going to start. I'm just using this opportunity. Yes, Debbie is a short form of Deborah. Yes. Yeah. Is Debbie okay? My boss here is correcting me. Debbie is, is a short form of um, Deborah, but I have a lot of them on my contacts. What is your name, Debbie? What is your name, Debbie? Now, this one, Debbie one, Debbie two, Debbie three, Debbie four. I don't know. Let's. Okay, I think we are good to go. Don't let us waste a lot of time. Don't let us waste a lot of time. So, um, we just have one hour to spend today. Yeah, we are. We are special. Okay, special woman being. Okay. Okay, we are we are up to 25 now. So let's let's continue. So now to create charts, now let's start with um chart is a graphical representation of this of your data. Ch 
chart is a graphical representation of your data, right? Now to create chart, there are different ways you can create charts. Um, you can create charts with ordinary range, right? You can create charts with private table. So there are a lot of ways you can create charts. But today I'm not using table, I'm not using private table, I'm just using ordinary range to create chart. It's still the same process, still the same thing, still the same type of chart. There are different type of chart that you can use. If you go to this insert now, you'll see a lot of charts right here. So we are not talking about pivot charts now. So pivot chart is created from pivot table. So if you choose pivot, so you choose the range, right? Then it's going to put your table in a, it's going to put your range in, in a table, then create a pivot with it, and it will recommend a chart for you. So we have different type of charts. Sometimes if you select a range, Excel will look through the range and give you a recommended chart. So this is a recommended chart. So you can use uh, all these um, bar charts, these um, box, right? Use Instagram, right? Use line charts. Now, if line chart is special, is is uh, is um, specially used whenever you are dealing with um, sales record. So, or you want to see trend, if you want to see trend in your sales, right? So that is where you use line chart. As you can see, use these charts. Type to show trend over time, like years, months, days. So we are going to go through all of them. But the most, the one that I love using is this pie chart and donut chart. I love using pie chart and donut chart, but I don't know why. I just love using them. So if you see in my, in all my example, pie charts and donut charts are the ones that I normally use. So let's see. Now we want to create a chart for USA, right? So we want to create a chart for the total sales of, of USA. We want to know all the products so that they are uh, all our products that we are all the product that uh, I'm coming. Let me just create a new sheet for that. So right now I want to say um I just want to say um let me match this cell together. I don't know the name to call it. So let's say this is USA sales record. So I just say USA sales record. So now this is where I have all my records. So I want to come here. Let me make it a little bit bold. Let me make it bold and let's give it some kind of background and get, make this white the text should be white let's make it white and let's increase it so um the last time i taught you how to create um word art with microsoft excel so you can use that to just beautify you can use that to just beautify so these are their they create dashboard so for now we want to know the total sales the product they are selling in usa and the quantity so so what I'll just come here is to filter, filter. So I hope all of us knows how to add filter. So country shift, uh, let me remove all these filter. So there are different ways you can add filter. There are different ways you can add filter. So I can, I can highlight, I can highlight everything from here to, to here, right? And come here and add, filter sorry sort and filter and add filter add filter like that another way is to you can come to data and add filter right here you can add filter then another way is you can just click on one and do control shift l and add filter do you get so that is that so let's filter out control shift l let's filter out USA. So I'll just type USA here. So I'll select USA. So I'll just select this one. I'll just select USA and click on OK. Now, this is sales for USA, right? This is sales for USA. Now, I want each, I want to have the total sales for each product. Now, I know I have product one to 10. This is the list of all the products that I have. So I'll just copy this. 
I'm come to this sheet too. The I'll paste it here. Okay, V. So this are product name. Product name. Product name. So let me quickly resize this and this quantity. Now, um, instead of even instead of filtering it out, say, there are another formulas you can use. So instead of going through this process, there are another formula that you can use. So that formula is called some ifs. But before I use some ifs, let me quickly show you some if. Or don't worry. Okay, let's show you some if. Before I use, how many of you here? Yes, test has come. 38, fine. Let me see the people that are here. How many of you here has gone through all the video? If you know you've gone through all the video, how many of you here have gone through all the video sent to you? Let's talk, I have one uh, piece. They be special people. Have you gone through all the video? Clifford, okay, fine. Drop halfway, oh, fine. You're yeah, halfway, yes, you have, okay. Almost, okay. That's fine. I have three people done with the video, not finished. Who is this person that said done with the video? Someday, okay, just two videos. It remains just two videos, Mr. John, or it's just two videos that you've gone, you've, you've watched. Yeah, right. Is it just two videos or it remains just two videos? Halfway. This is um, Barakat, right? Half, I guess. The Zoom user, you are Barakat, right? More than half. Okay, if you've you watched more than half, then go and watch a video on some if, or some of you have seen some if. So today I'm using some if. I don't need to go over it again. Just watch it in the video. Just watch it in the video. So I'm going to use some ifs to bring um the total sale for USA. So I want to see the USA total sales, right? Total quantity, that is the quantity they order. So I'm going to use a formula called some ifs. Who says this? I thought we can build the chart from data centers of entry section of the data. I think I was busy throughout the week. Someone said, I think we can build, um, build a chart with this one, right? We are building a chart with this one, but you can't put all this information in a chart. You need to select, I, like I said earlier, I think you came in late. That's right. I won't be repeating myself. I've said this. The most important thing, that is what you are going to put in the data. You won't put something that, that is unnecessary in the data. You put the most important thing. So imagine me just building, I have over 80 something country here. So if I put all of them in the data, it will be cluster. It won't make any sense. It won't make any sense. So if you are analyzing your data, what your company wants to see is, let's say the best selling country, right? the top 10 selling country, the products they are, that are selling more in this country, that is what, that is how you build your, up your data. That is the reason why they come up with dashboard. If they can build one, one chart with all the data, there's no need for dashboard. The reason why they create dashboard, this person, who is this person that just typed the message? Hey, I'm coming. IK. The reason why they build dashboard is because they can put all this information in one chat. They need to segregate it. I are you with me? They will segregate it. Put the one that are most important in the charts, then represent it. That's why you can see different charts in the dashboard. Did you get? That's why you can see different charts in the chart in the in the dashboard. You can't put all your data in one chart. That is. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't give any information. It doesn't give any information. So just watch what I want to do. That's fine. So let's continue. So I'm going to use some if. 
if you've not watched, if you've not seen some, if you watch the video, but by next week, we are going to be taking the course one by one. So we'll do the first 10 video, followed by the next 10, followed by the next 10, or five, five videos. We'll be reviewing it every single week. But don't worry, we'll communicate better in the group. So we'll be reviewing it. The first, first, like the first 10, the first 10 or five formulas starting from next week, then we move to the next five or 10 formulas starting from next week. So that is how that is. So I'm going to use a formula called sum ifs. So equals to sum ifs. So if we don't have that, we can use sum ifs. So sum ifs, our sum range, what did I want to add? I want to add quantity. So I want to know the total quantity, right, of each product in USA, right? Comma. So comma, our criteria range is, the first one is, I want to know the product, comma, then our, pro, our criteria will be products. These are our criteria, comma. Our criteria range two is the country. So USA, then our second criteria will be, in, in all caps, USA, in quotation, then I'll close my bracket. So it's going to calculate and give me the total sales. Now for this one, I can say now, I want to represent this in a chart. Now I will label this, my chart, my chart title will be USA sales record. So let's create the chart beside this one. <laughs> So um, you can put it, you can put it in a table, but for now I'm not putting it in a table. I'll just, I'll just put it here. So if you highlight something like this, if you highlight it like this, you can click on this quick analysis. If you click on this quick analysis, you come here and click on charts. Right? You can see the charts. This is a recommended. This is the recommended chart. You can use cluster charts, you can use any of this one, but I prefer using this one because it's sales record. I prefer using it, right? I prefer using this one. I prefer using this one. Another way to get your charts is, I like this. So let me just highlight this. Good, good, good. So I'll just highlight, right? Go to insert. You can't see my screen. There should be your network. If I click on recommended charts, Excel will recommend charts for me. Do you see? This is the chart Excel recommend for me. Then I can click on this. Now I have this chart. This is the chart for this one. Now, if you remember, I said contextual tab, right? Remember I said contextual tab. So I don't that thing that I can use that I can do to this thing is, let me, let me do it. Okay, let me finish this one before going to the other one. Let's finish it. So now another way to do it, I will, I will show you that one in a bit. So I can use this line chart because it sells, it sells record but this is not date. So I just want to use a recommended chart. Then I can do it like this. So you see, I also recommend this one. So these are the recommended charts. These are the charts Excel recommend for me, right? So I'll go with cluster charts, then I'll click on okay. Jesus. So if I choose this now, you remember the last time I said contextual tab are the tabs that comes up whenever you choose a particular um a particular icon or um whenever you are working with a special ribbon, something like charts. We are working with the last time we were in class, you see, we saw contextual tab also with smart ads. We are working with check. So you can, if you come here now, there are different ways you can represent your chart. Do you see? I can represent my chart in this one. So I can click here now. I can change my chart style. I can click on it and change it to um, USA 
USA sales record. I can do something like this. I can do something like this. I can choose this one. I can choose this one. You can use any chart that you feel like, okay, it's okay for you. And you can, if you feel like the color is not okay, you can choose another color grid that you like. So you can choose another color grid that you like. If I keep on coming down, I can choose another color grid right here. So now this plus, so if I click on it, it's going to show the chart elements. I have my chart title right here, which is this, it's turned on. I can try to turn it off, then the chart title will be gone, but I, the chart title must always be there. So I'll just put, I'll just type this, um USA USA sales record USA sales record uh -huh. so let's continue if I click on this plus again if I click on this plus now another one that is that we always like to show is this you can turn off your grid line if you want it so another one is this legend. I love my child to have legend. So I can choose to have a legend right here. I can choose to have a legend, but it's okay like this. So you can play around with any of these. I think if you want, if you are showing trend line, say if you want it to show trend line, you can see it will show the trend line. This is the trend line. So it's showing the average. That is, is either like this is the average. Yeah. This is like the average. If you see it from this line to this line, it's the average. That is the average. So you can turn on your trend line. So each chart has different chart elements that you can work with. And you, this is like a filter. So you can filter it out. So you can filter it out like this. You can filter your product out, something like this. So if you want to see it, but any question on this one? So if you come to format, you can do this where you have talked about this one the last time, your shape feel, right? You can say you don't want it to have a background color. You can decide to give you something like a background color like this to just beautify your work. It's just a way to beautify your work, right? The shape outline, shape effects, but um, we don't normally do a lot of stuff here. So now, this is where you change your color. So if you want to select your data again, if you want to reselect it, you can choose this. If you want to change it, if you want to change the data source, just click here and choose another data source. If you don't want this one, just clear it and choose another data source, right? So I'll leave this one like that. So if you want to select row or column, so you can swap the data over. So let's switch the row, this row, to column and let's switch the column to row. So I'll just switch it to have something like this. Now let's choose another, let's choose, let's delay this one and do it in another way. And do it in another way. So for this one, I want to use a formula. I want to do another, I want to do something. So these are all the country that I have, right? These are all the country, and I want to see the sales record for each country. So instead of creating the data one by one, right? Instead of creating data one by one, I can do something like this. So let me quickly clear this. I can do something like this. Control shift down arrow, control C, copy this. And let me paste it beside this. So let me just paste it right here, Control V. So I'll paste it right here. So what I'll do right now is I'll come to data, then I'll say, I'll select everything, Control Shift, down arrow, then I will remove duplicates. So I'm going to remove duplicate from this one. This one, this selected color. So I will just click on OK. So now, you see, you have 46 
country, right? This is the total number of countries that you have, 46 countries. So having 46 countries, then what I want, I want this, I want my chart to be changing whenever I am, um, let me insert. Stop, stop. So I want to come to home, merge and merge. So right now I'll just come here and put country right here. Country. You and okay, I don't need to even put it there. I can try to put it elsewhere. So let me delete this. So right now I want it to be in a drop down. Mm, where can I put it? So I can okay. Okay, let's link like three or four data, three three sheets together. So this one, I want the country, or I want it to be in the, in this sheet too. Well, so I want it to be okay. Let's say it should be here. Let's go to data. I want to put all the country right here. So whenever I select any country, the data will change. So I want to go to data validation. I want to do a drop down now. List my source. So my source will come from customer. So this is my source. I'm going to select everything from here. I'll select everything, right? After selecting everything, I'll just come here and uh, we just type input message. I'll just type country right here. Oh. Am I together or are you guys still with me? You don't know like that. Country. Are you with me? Select uh, the uh, welcome country here. Yeah. Country here. Yeah. I just click on OK. So I just choose one country right here. So are you sales if? Are you some if? So I just say equals to some ifs. Now my sum range will be total. I think it's adding to will be total quantity, right? My criteria range one will be product, comma, my criteria will be product one, comma, my criteria range two will be country, comma, and my criteria will be this. You get, so I'll close my brackets. Now I need to lock this down. I want to lock this one down. So function F4 to lock it down. Now, the reason why I lock it down is because, is because I want to copy down this formula. And based on relative reference, if you go and watch, if you go and watch my reference, if you go and watch the reference, then the criteria will be coming down based on the relative reference. So I don't want to do that. What should I come again with Mr. Sunday? Mr. Atunde, what should I come again? Is it the formula? Is it the formula or what? The formula, okay. So now I say equals to sum ifs, right? Tab. My sum range is the total quantity, comma. Now I want to see the total sales for product one in USA. My criteria range one is this, because I want to see each product. So my criteria is this, right? Comma, my criteria range to which country for all, for each country, right? Comma, and my criteria for the country is this one, because this is a drop-down, so I can choose any country that I want. So I can, I'll lock down this one, because I don't want this thing to move down if I copy down the formula. Then after that, I'll just close the bracket and press enter. So now I can copy down this. 
Now I can say, um, you know what, actually, let me see. Um, I don't want to do it again, don't worry. I made a mistake. But now you can see if I choose USA, the data is going to change. If I choose Brazil, the data is going to change. So if I'm representing this in a chart, so let's go back to Japan. So if I'm representing this in a chart, then I'll just come here and choose. Now I'm going to use a trend line, trend line here. So as you see, so if I choose Japan, so this in this Japan, in product one, you see the quantity is very low. So which means um, we have our the profit that is, the product that is doing very well in Japan is what product three, right? It's product three. It's product three. So I can come here and choose this and see it here in a visual way, right? So if I click on this, my charts, I can choose a chart design that makes sense. You forgot to remove. Yes, yes, I know. I know. So if I choose this, I want to do another thing. Oh, let me see, I'm going with this. So if I choose this, I will see something like this, right? I'll see something like this, right? So um, now, so this is what you can do. This is what you can do now. If you are going, yes, I'm, I'm going to change this. I'm going to change this later, but not now. So um, let's let's take this thing a step further. Let's take it a step further now. So yes, any question on this one? So um, before even taking it a step further, um, any question? Say if I choose USA, the data is going to change. Now, do you get? If I choose Brazil, data will change. You can see the product that is perfect. How did I create the drop down box? You will see it when I drop the video in the group or go and watch drop down video. You see the way I create the drop down. Do you get? So, uh, you I choose South Korea, the data you've seen, you see, can the title. Can the title be dynamic to change with the data? Yes, it can be dynamic. It can be dynamic. So that is what I want to say. I want to take it a step further. So let's delete the chart. So let's delete this drop down now. So let's delete this drop down. So if I delete the cell, right? Um, I want this. So I want to delete this whole column and insert a new one there. And I'm going to insert a new column, right? So I'm doing a drop down right here. So I'll do a drop down right here. So I'll say, um, did, now Mr. Tunde, you that we want to see the drop down. I'll come here now and go to data validation, come here and choose list. Right, the source is going to be in my customer because I've remo removed the duplicate of this one. I've removed the duplicate of this one. So I'm going to highlight everything down right here, down to this point. To this point. Now I'm just going to click on okay, simple as that. So this is drop down. So I'm going to choose one country. So let me give it a good formatting. Let me make it bold and increase the size. So I'll just, if I change it to USA, if I change it to this. So now, now let's come here and write sales, sales report, sales reports, reports. So I press enter. So for this, I don't want to give them a background color. Now I want to make the text 
variables. So um, now this formula has changed. So this is having ref error. So I delete this formula, this one here, and my criteria range two will be this. So let's press enter. And now mm -hmm. let's copy down this formula. Yeah, I have a mistake. So I'm going to lock down this F4, enter. Should see that is A1. That is A1. A1. So I'll just lock it down, F4, and press. Oh, shoot. Sorry, 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 sorry. B. Let me copy this formula. Control. Let's let's redo it. The Z Z Z. Now Control Z. So this one, I'll just type A one. So let me remove this. Yes. Yeah, so I'll log in this down. F four. Now press enter. Then right now, I'll just copy down this formula. Yes. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Mutiat, is it that before you do a drop down, you must have a data set? You must have a data set in another sheet or same sheet or the drop down. Ah, uh, Mutiat, you try or the drop down can just be typed instead of choosing the data. Set. You can type the drop, you can type it there, you can type it there. You can type it in the drop down, but I have 46 country. I can't be typing 46 country now. You must have a data set already now. You have this data set in the in the in what I sent to you. So let me make this also. And let's make it bold. So now we have something like this. So let's create a chart with this also. Let's create the chart with this. So let's choose from here. Let's create the charts. Let's go to insert. Let's now use, um, let's still continue with this, our trend line. So let me choose this type of trend line. Yes, love this. So I love this one. This is right. So now I'll come here now. I want to turn on my chart style too. So instead of having this one, instead of having this one in the chart style two, I'll just say equals to this one. So I'm coming. So uh, I'm, I'm, I want to remove, I want to turn off this grid line. I'm coming, let me minimize this one. Let me minimize this one. So let me, first of all, delete this line. I'm going to delete this. So I'm going to delete this one, right? Or let me even leave it there. Let me leave it there. Let me leave it like this. So uh, my chart title is now the quantity. So now, if you want your chart title to be dynamic, you can use, let me leave it right here. So let me place my chart somewhere. Who is writing on my screen? I made a mistake. Let me disable the annotation. So now, if I come here to insert, uh, I'll take a text box. I want to draw a text box right here. So I want to draw a text box right here. In this text box, in this text box, oh shoot, oh my God. So let's take a text box again. Let's draw it right here. In this text box, I'll just type equals to, um, let me remove the, the fill, shape fill, to no fuel, doesn't have any fuel. 
equals to oh sorry 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 so to make this dynamic don't mind me to make this dynamic we are going to say um yeah 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 I'm coming, please. I'm I'm doing something else. So, yes, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Okay. Now, this is where I want to place my charts, right? Good. Shoot. sending message so now sorry guys this is where i want to place my chat right this is where i want to place my chat so i'll just take um i'll just come here i'll just come here match this one together so before i even margin it i can say equals to this one press enter right then right here then i can write sales Yes, I can write sales sales reports. Let me. Is this still not moving there? Uh -uh. Something is wrong. Uh -huh. So let's remove. The background color to no few. No few. And no, we need to have a few for this one. Let's come to this one and give this one a white few. Or let's give everything a few. Doesn't make okay. Let's clear the grid line. Let's go to view and let's clear the grid line. Use that. Why not use the equals to again, I'm coming. So um, let's clear the grid line. I want all this. Let me clear the grid line first. Yes, it's fine like this. So now we have something like this. This way I want to place my chart. So let me remove this few. I think it still has a few formats. To shape few, I'll remove to no few. Yes, um, I'm also going to remove this grid line. I don't like it. So, so let me come here and turn off this grid line. I don't want the grid line. So I have something that looks like this. Let me remove the outline, shape outline. I want to remove the outline to no outline. For this one also, I'll remove the outline to no outline. Yes, it's better like this. Or well, let me just place this chart right below this one. Where is my system hanging today? Or oh, beside it, sure. You can just, just look for, I'm not creating a dashboard. So if you want to create a dashboard, you should you just see it come out with the way you want to design it. But this one is just a rough sketch. So I'll make this one big. I'll make it big. If I want to make it bold, I'll make it bold. So let me align it to the right. So control Z. Just this one alone to the right like this. So Brazil sales reports charts. C H E R T. Yes, I have something that looks like this. So if I come here and choose this one to, thank you, Captain Akin. So if I change this one to this, so this is going to change. Mexico sales report chart. If I change this one to this, so it's going to change Argentina sales report chart. So if I change this one to this, it's going to change Vietnam sales report. Right, right now you can see this product is performing very well in Vietnam, right? Based on this chart. So we have like three products that is performing very well, in which this product now is one of the best. 
is it product nine or uh, is product ten? Is one of the is the best, right? So I have this one. Then I have another one right here, which is product seven, and another one right here, which is product four. So now with this one, I cannot. Okay, in Vietnam we have these products that are performing very well. So this is what they used to create a dashboard. So you just add. So now this is sales report. This is sales report for each country based on the product. So I can do sales report for um for each product. So I can just highlight the each product, put it in a new sheet, get the total sales for each product, the total quantity, and put it in a new chart. So let me take this one up and let's quickly do that one before I start answering your question. So now, so, so let me just say product and quantity. So this is control V. Um, this will be, this will be, um, sales reports, products, 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 sales reports. I'm not going to do anything to this one, so I'm just going to leave it like this. So I'll copy this product name from product one to product 10, then I'll paste it right here, control V. Now, quantity, total quantity for each product, I'll say equals to some if I can use some if for this one because I have only one criteria. So the range, the criteria range is this. This is the criteria range, comma. The criteria will be will be, will be this, comma, and my sum range will be total quantity. So I'll close my brackets and press enter. Who is this person messaging me now? So I'll just copy down now. I can use this one to create a chart. So I have this one. So this is the product. So I'll use bar chart for this one. I can come here and say, um, I'll go to insert and just use a chart, which is bar chart. So I'll just choose, let me see. Yes, I'll go with this one. So I'll go with this one. I'll just place it somewhere around here. So let me reduce the size. So let me reduce the size of this one. So I'll just place it somewhere around here. I can go to format to remove the shape fill to no fill, the shape outline to no outline. So I can have something like this. Let me bring this, this grid line back. So if I click on plus, let me just bring the grid line back. Yes. So you can have something that looks like this. So now this type two. So this one, I'll just say, Sales uh, products, 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 sales report. So product sales report. Can I have something like this. Any question here? Is there any question? Let me just make this one bold. So I think this is it. Just make it bold. So any other question? Let's start. Let me start on muting people. So if you have question, raise your hand, raise your hand, raise your hand. I'm calling it today. Beautiful work. Thank you. So creating a dashboard is more or less something like this. So you can create, put another table right here, put the chart there, put an, create another table, put, put the charts there. Right. So, any question before I call it a day? So that is that about chats. I K. Okay, please unmute. Yeah, good evening, sir. Thank you so so much for this uh, wonderful training. It's been amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah. Welcome. Um, I just want to find out if we are having a, a dashboard on Excel, maybe yeah. without using it to just in Excel, as you just uh, said. If you put all the different charts, maybe by charts, uh, line charts, and all of them inside one sheet, can yeah. each of them do you, um, you know, some of them used to be a little bit like dynamic. Don't mind me, that's just well, I'm just, just being curious about it. 
So okay. if you have them the four or five chance there, yes. does it mean that you're going to go each of them to change or something can happen? Maybe if you, each, each of them will be changing by itself or you have to change. Yes, if you them. create it, if you create it just like the way I create this drop down. Yes. So whenever you change anything here, yeah, each mm -hmm. chart will change. Right. So you can even put each table in a new sheet. So what you just do is copy this chart. Let's say I want to have all the chart in one mm -hmm. book and just write the title there. So once yeah. I just copy the chart, then I can come to a new sheet and paste it there. So in which, so I'll have all the charts in one sheet, all the table in another sheet. So each table, I can go to each table and change this one. But you know, this one cannot change, right? This for each product, this is the total quantity order for each product and I put them in a chart. Did you get it now? So I'm mute now. Okay, Freeman. Yes. 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 Okay, no problem. Mr. Freeman, long time no see. Any other anything else? <laughs> yeah, hello. Good evening. Hello, yeah, evening. Mr. Freeman from Ghana, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome. How is Ghana today? Yeah, Ghana people fine. They they say they salute you. <laughs> uh, from the first chat. Yeah. From the first chat. Uh, like in mathematics, they will ask you to draw a line, a certain line to show something. Maybe a line of symmetry, maybe a line that will indicate that uh, this particular product is doing well. Or a sign to show that that particular product is doing well or is not doing well. Is there any way we can do something like that? In this, in this, this chart, as you can see it now, the, the first least, chart, everybody yeah. knows that this is the product that is performing well. And then okay. it there. So that is why they use line charts. You can't draw line in a line chart again. It's made of line. Oh. Okay. Yes, you can't draw line in a line chart. It's made of my line. So that is why whenever you are dealing with sales report, you use a line chart like this. Yeah, I see. Yes. Uh, okay. Any other thing? Okay, thank you, Mr. Freeman. Have a nice day. Any other question before I call it a day? Um, who is this person? I'm going to study the videos because the chat is what I want to grab very well. Mr. George. Mr. John, okay. Who is clapping? Thank you for clapping for me. I clap for you too. Sir, please, I have a question. Raise your hand, Stella. Eh? Let me look for you, baby. Let me just look for you. Where is Stella? I'm looking for you. Oh, yeah, on mute. You are going to pay me for stressing me to, um, to look for you. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. I'm sending you my account number now. You stress me to start looking for you. You are paying me for that. Good evening. So, so sorry. I'm even joining late. I just came in from work now, please. And so what you are teaching is exactly what I've been waiting for, the graph and the chart. So please, I will know if it is under they were going to do it or you may recall what you did. I just want to know how you were able to do the This is exactly what I'm looking for in this class. How you were able to come up with the um, Graph, please. Thank you. Yeah, I'll, I'll drop it. I'll, I'll drop a replay. But um, starting from next week, I'll be dropping the videos you have to go through. Then we'll go. We are just going to do a review on each video. So if I ask you to go through video one to ten, starting from next week, I'll be dropping it in the group. So I'll follow along. So uh, it has come to my notice that it's not everybody that goes through the video. So I'll be dropping it in the group, Mr. Kenneth. Hey, hey, so I should look for you also, Abby. No problem. Two people don't owe me money now. Where is Mr. Kenneth? I J K R. Where is? Yes, I've seen you. Unmute. You can unmute. Who's Lawa Lamina? Good evening, sir. Good evening. I'm sending you my account uh, number. You yes, sir, no, matter, but I've been trying to. For me, it's easy. Even I want to send that. You raise your hand. Voice. You raise your hand. So I, I want to raise my hand. I tried. To, I went to more to raise my hand. It was not responding. Okay. That's why I just typed that. Sister. 
Okay. Like the last week I joined late. I just came in from my office and I love this chat stuff. Okay. I don't know what we can do to a kind of uh or can you give us a brief uh summary? Um I would love the replay in the class in the in the group so you can go through it. Okay, thank you. Yes, you're welcome, Mr. Kenneth, and send him my account number. All of you that are owing me money, I'll drop my account number in the group. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, thank you for the class. Eh? God bless you. And you too, Mr. Lawal. Any other person? Any other person before I call it today? Who is 685118? Huh? Thanks a lot, Mr. IK. You're most welcome. You always trust me, I always give you the best now. Hmm? I always give you the best. We as digital world, we are what we are for is for impacting knowledge in a way that is more fun and <laughs> you are just crying, right? Welcome. Thank you for joining late. That is the punishment for coming late. Hmm? <laughs> you have the data already. So download it. You have the data. I don't know how many times that I have to be showing you this thing now. Mm. How many times? See, this is it. Once I give you the link, you click on it, right? Let me look for the thing. So you click on it. I'm coming back to you, Mr. Akim, on tonight's webinar. Ah, is it money? Don't come and beat me. Oh, this person that just allowed the allowed the magic. Don't come and beat me in my in my own mode because you said you are coming for me. <laughs> so for those people that are saying they need the data, right? The link I sent to you for the 45 um, for all the video. If you see the ultimate Excel link, I have two data there. This one is just for practice. Then this particular one that I used is, is down here, is in the video. This is it, is work exercise. Download it. Download, download it. Hmm? Download and use it. So download and use it. Is that cool? Any other thing, any other thing, any other thing? I'm going home. I want to sleep. Is there any other thing? Love. Who is love? Huh? Thanks for the class. Hola, Tooks. I just like this, your name. It's for my OK. No problem. Maybe I'll come and bring money. Abby. Hola, Tooks. I don't know. I just like this, your name. Who gave you self? Who else? Any question before I call it today? No problem. I will be expecting you. Emily, thank you. You work, uh, Mr. Adeyemi. John, Mr. John, a lot of works again. Vic, Vic, Victoria Uluwa Bukola, you're welcome. Um, if there is no question, am I free to go now? You are doing well, boss. Thank you. Are you a book in the YouTube? You are doing well, Daniel Bamfu. Well, thank you. You thank you all. You see, one of the things that keep us going as digital world is encouragement, it's not the money. Mm? The way you encourage us, you really appreciate. And that is one of the things that 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 keep us going. Mm? We are happy that we are impacting life. We are happy um, that at least we are helping. In as much as the, the economy or the country is trying to tell a lot of people that um, they are not um, good enough or they are not that before you learn something you have to pay so much, right? But we are also trying to make um to help to give back to the world so that is so i really appreciate you for the way you chat with me the way um the way you encourage us the way you even talk to, you don't even look at me as who is this small boy talking to us a lot of you here are old enough to be my father and to be or to be my mother right so but i call you by name and and you even respect me me that i'm nothing Right? Who am I? Right? 
but thank you. I really appreciate you. I appreciate everything you're doing, your word and your word of encouragement. Thank you very much. Thank you. I really appreciate you. I really appreciate. It. Um, just keep on supporting us. Keep on supporting us. Uh, we also promise to always give you the best of the best of the best. We try our possible best to give you whatever it takes. Mm? Thank you very much. Thank you. So um, we we'll, we we'll promise to always give you a best job. So if you have any other question, feel free to shout me up. You know, I always respond to you in my WhatsApp. Might not be immediately, but I'll respond to you. So um, if there's nothing more, I would like to go now and see you in the next class, which is next week, Friday. Is there, any, is there feedback? If you want to speak, you can raise your hand. Let me unmute also. You can unmute and speak. If you want to give us feedback, yes, we always want feedback so that uh, we can work more on it. So if you have any feedback that you want to give to us, unmute now and talk, please. If you have feedback, you complain and other things. Um, wow. Good evening, Mr. To get out. Good evening. Ghani, you can day. please wait. Let's so I just want to say, yeah. how, do we have, how do we have access to the recording by session? To this one? Yes. I'll drop it in the group. Okay. What of the subsequent, I mean, the former ones you, you did, like the past two, three, three weeks? It's all, they are all in the group. I drop everything in the group. The link will be Okay. There. Okay. Okay. On YouTube, right? YouTube link, right? Yes. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, Danny, you can be Mr. Roland. Please, let's wait for yeah. you can be, please. Okay, Ghani Kendi is going. Yeah, good evening, Mr. Kim. Hello, good evening, Mr. Kim. Ah, uh, two people. Yes. Who wants to give chance? Uh, let's 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 allow. My network is very bad. Mr. Mr. Oh Hello, Mr. Ghani, continue. Mr. Roland, just wait a little. Okay, Mr. Ghani. Yeah, Mr. Roland. Mr. Ghani, do you want to speak? Please speak. Let's wait for. Mr. Mr. Elan, please continue. Mr. Ghani is gone. Please continue. Yeah. Good evening, Mr. King. Good evening. Yes, yes. I want to know. I thank you first. Let me thank you for the class and uh, for the uh, effort you've been making. I, I, start, I want to download the stuff, but I can't. I don't know if there's a way I can download the, those videos you sent. Yes, you can download it. You can download. If you come to... If you go to the video, the, the, video normally, is your I the video is in your Google Drive. Once you get to it, just click on this three dotted line, right? You'll see download down. Uh, oh. you see download somewhere around this download. You can download it. Okay, okay. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. Any other any other feedback, Mr. Jiboye? Uh hello, I came. Thank you very much for the, your effort. I just want to appreciate you. Thank you very much. And more kudos to you, eh? Thanks. You are welcome. really appreciate. Thank you. I also appreciate you. Any Thanks, eh? Feedback. Can you give us your birthday time in advance? Let us know. Just for nothing. Just put it on your chat that that will be your birthday. I think all of us will. My private number. Love. No, 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 on the chat group. Maybe my birthday will be in so 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 day. Don't drop my it. Don't birthday do is in October. It's still far. Ah. It's October. No, October I just remind us. I no, our our group will still be active by that time. Don't drop it. My birthday yes. is so so so. It will still be active throughout this year. I know. The group is still I know it will still be active. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. No so, Mr. Kim, good Thank evening, you. sir. Good evening. Oh. Good evening. Long time. Mr. Kim, please. Oh. <laughs> yes, so it's what it's what somehow. Okay. Please, I'm um, yet to assess all those forty plus videos. Though. The link you sent to me, I have those ones before. I I'm looking for the forty plus videos so that I can use them. Those for are practice. the link. Click on those link. You I don't know how I can now. get it. Sir. Click on those link. They are Google. The one you link. Just click on the two link that I sent to you. Are you the one that is sending me message on WhatsApp? Yes, I. 
Yeah, just let's talk on WhatsApp. Let's talk on WhatsApp. Just mm -hmm. ask me. Me and you are October. Mine is it. Uh, I'm older than you. Then mine. Looks, mine is October five. All right. So. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> let's see. Just let's talk on WhatsApp, please. Say, I beg, help me with. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, no problem, sir. Okay. Any other thing? Uh, Mr. Ladimeji, we are we are both in October, right? You're October 18. I'm October 5. No worry. We are going to sell. You can control October 1st. You can control ever will be responsible. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I just intentionally unmute everybody. So in the absence, oh, we have a lot of October. No problem. We'll go out together. In the absence of no question, I would like to call it today. Thank you all for coming by. All, okay, all, be, all yeah. bees on you for yeah. October celebrant. Eh? All bees on you for October celebrant. <laughs> what did you say? I said all bees on you for October celebrant. Why, uh, why, why, why? Uh, is the one that I say uh, you go out more, that you go out together. Uh, other months, you can just uh, gather yourself. <laughs> So you no, know we are so bad. We are really wonderful. We are the one that for the independent for you. For, for all of now, we are so bad. Now he go pay everything. All bills on him. Okay. Not the same control. No, no. Not the control. No, no, it's not going to pay the bills. Yo, we we'll celebrate it together. Thank Hello, you very much, Jagi. Everybody. <laughs> Hello, ma. Hello, ma. Yes. The groups to celebrate for the coordinator, not the coordinators. Also celebrate for the group. Oh. No problem, no problem. My I know, man. I know, I know. My dad, you are going to be the coordinator that very month. I know. Yes? Yeah. We are appointing the coordinator that month, madam, please. <laughs> exactly. Oh, That's okay. You never get coordinator. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be the coordinator, right? She'll be the one in charge of yeah, everything. Like <laughs> no, I don't worry. Now we go collect money every time. We collect everything for that month. Minister for finance. My own hair. My own December. So I know I go there for. Why your own no be October now? Aja. Oh, now God, now God. <laughs> okay. that's good that's good that's thank good. you everyone i really appreciate you i really appreciate you. thank you no, thank I, you I, Mr. I, always, I promise welcome. to always give you the best thank you very much so highly welcome sir in the absence of no question i'd like to call it a day so we'll meet again next week friday you know here yeah, we are we are learning and uh, august 15 your name Okay, we are learning and having fun together. You know, it's not so easy, exactly. right? So you yes, learn yes. while you are playing, right? Play, That's yes. how a lot of people learn. So that is why I try to throw in a lot of funny, funny things so that don't just overstress. Nigeria or world itself is giving a lot of stress. Stress, stress at yeah. work, at home. So why will you come here and I'll start giving you stress? So let's just enjoy our life together and gain more knowledge thank you very much i'd like to call it a day now have a nice day you can continue the chats in the group i i will be reading all the messages sometimes i'll just laugh i will not respond uh no problem thank you very much and have a wonderful night good night everyone bye bye yeah have a nice day